what is going on Sagittarius it is Scorpion Reds I am back at it again checking in with you to see what's going on with the month of March 2019 yes indeed what is going on shout out to everyone that's been liking sharing and all of my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing if this video resonates and if you would like to book a personal private reading you can do so by clicking the about tab <clears throat> excuse me there's a hyperlink at the, in the link section that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as simple book me again at scorpion red several as simply book me okay and um if you would like to give a love donation if this video resonates you can do so there's a link in the paypal uh for the paypal in the description section okay so sagittarius let's get into the reading all right let's get into the prayer dear lord thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of sagittarius we are here to find out what the energy is for the month of march 2019 thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons and all of the messages that you've given us in the past present and future thank you so much for blessing the sign of sagittarius with an abundance of love laughter light and joy thank you so much for the progression thank you so much for them being steadfast in their movements of trying to Find the overall happiness and fulfillment and enjoyment in their life that they could just feel abundantly free. And, you know, when you're happy and you're just everything is just going the way that it should be going in your life. It's just a, a, a moment of just like true, pure, just like freedom, you know, when everything is just as it's supposed to be. And that's what uh, Sagittarius is doing right now. They want to be free in happiness and joy. Dear Lord, please give us guidance to lead the sign of Sagittarius to freedom, happiness, and joy in the month of March. Thank you so much for all the abundant blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Sagittarius guidance for the month of March. Thank you again. Is this what goes around comes around the three fates what goes around comes around the three fates let's see what that is mm -hmm. all right so it says it's happening again. Many of us has faced difficulties and troubled times in our life. Sometimes the impact of a negative experience is so profound that it leaves us with physical, mental, and yes, spiritual residue for months, even years after the actual uh, um, act, after the actual um, event has occurred. While you're still vibrating, as the three fates put it. To the energy of a negative experience, you tend to be repeatedly attracting the echoes of the same experience. So when you need to be alerted up to that fact, the three fates will enter showing you that it is a karmic pattern that needs to be worked on, understood, recreated in order to be free of its influence. You may feel that. You may feel that. There are others in charge of your fate that there are threading the needle, weaving the patterns of the tapestry in your life, even choosing what ends and what begins. When you feel that fate has intercoded and that you're not so much in control of your life, but in control of your reaction as to what happens in your life, then you are beginning to work with intelligence, maturity and understanding. With the energies of destiny, fate, and fortune, these three fates depict so beautifully here what their ever-turning wheel of karma, understanding, and that it turns and turns as your life will through its many themes, 
again and again. When you receive this card in a reading, it is most especially if it leaps out to greet you, which it just did. You will know that an old pattern has circled around once again. So it seems like you guys are repeating the same toxic pattern over and over and over again in a situation and or relationship. And it's going to continue to repeat itself until you really get some understanding of the lesson and understand what your destiny, your fate and fortune is. And it doesn't lie there. And you're going to continue repeating that cycle of misfortune until you get it. All right. The three fates speaks. Here it is again. That situation, that person, that lesson that you have yet to learn. And that you may spend a lifetime learning. It seems you need another cosmic reminder of something that needs to be cleared and mastered. Letting go is the most important moment. A very important lesson for you to learn. We are not suggesting forgetting the lesson. Because where's the wisdom in that? We are suggesting that you move on and learn and actively replace this experience with a completely different version of the same theme. No more repeats. This is the opportunity to try something different and see what the magic can take place here. When you vary your approach. You must reconnect with the opportunities you have. Staying attached to old patterns will simply make them come around again and again and again. Like thread, like a thread being spun in our wheel. Learn to be released from this part in this pattern. That just feels like unjust fate. And the thing is, it's like you're not even happy in this situation. But yet you keep Finding a way to allow itself to creep back into your life to repeat itself over and over and over again. It seems as if you're not tired of this toxic cycle. The true message. You have been enjoying your own life returns lately. Wallowing through memories and feeling sad, bitterness, nostalgic about the good old days. Whenever those were exactly. Only you know. And you know what? It's fine. To muse on the past. Your memories are precious. And do need to be tended. But there's another thing altogether. To be filled with regret. Wishing that you have done things differently. Life is a constant do over. You get a fresh chance. Every second you are alive. Stop beating yourself up. You have an opportunity to heal clear. And to no longer feel sad. About that same thing over and over again. Or anymore. You can do things completely differently. You are not a prisoner to how they have always done things. What you um what you have done, even if you judge it to be a mistake. Hold on. What you have done, even if you judge it to be a mistake, can be reworked and learned from. Okay. That is wisdom. You are not alone. We all have karmic lessons, themes, stories that seem to repeat. Learn from this. Be aware of what is taking place as a fateful encounter to master life. If you take this approach, you'll be richer for learning, wise, free, and able to help others too. So it's really time for you to master this experience and stop repeating this over and over again, Sagittarius. Destiny, fate, and fortune. That's what I want to. I, I want to know what my destiny, my fate, and my fortune is. I definitely don't want to continue to keep reliving a negative, toxic pattern that is making me unhappy. Something that's keeping me bitter. Oh, something has to do with a third party situation. Mm hmm. Mm. Want new beginnings, but there's no love there. And you're trying to avoid an ending in this situation. But you know that there's a third party. Yet you're still trying to you, you you keep you keep trying to create a new beginning in the situation when there's no love. Tch. 
Uh, heartbreak. Why am I trying to put this back? All right, Sagittarius. Come on, you guys. All right, Sagittarius. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so like I said, you're dealing with someone that is, um, you know, entertaining other people. You're most definitely entertaining other people, and this person is probably trying to come back and reconnect with you. Okay? So you're at a point right now where possibly you're saying to yourself, Sagittarius, that, you know, I don't want to keep repeating this cycle over and over and goddamn over again. Okay? Because I know you got somebody else lingering over in the background, and I ain't stupid. No, there will not be no reunion in this situation. I'm focusing on my new beginnings. I got so much growth <laughs> and new beginnings. And not only that, I'm a Sagittarius. I got so much fire burning in me, bitch. I don't got time for you. I don't have time for you. I don't have no love for you no more. Anything that I had for you was pouring out. And <laughs> there will be no beginning. So, yeah, that fish right there, that's new birth. All that new birth and stuff that you're talking about, um, snake on the open snake on that. You can forget that shit. All right? So, stop trying to avoid this ending. Stop trying to avoid this ending with Sagittarius because Sagittarius Sagittarius is done. Sagittarius is done. All right? Because this is, this is a situation where they're still heartbroken about, you know? And it's like, you know, why should I allow you to re-enter my life to take the three swords and pierce my heart again? So this is letting you know, Sagittarius, if you keep repeating this cycle and you're already out of the situation or you're somewhat removed from the situation. You're not going to do nothing but allow this person to take the swords and stab them through your heart again. So it's up to you if you're going to allow. You see? You see what this is doing? You see what this person is doing, right? You want to let them do it again? You want to keep going through this shit over and over and over and over again? You want to keep doing that? You want to keep recycling and creep, reliving this heartbreak by making the same decision? Are you going to retreat and are you going to remove yourself from the situation and use your wisdom and be withdrawn and study? You know? You need to study your inner wisdom. You need to tap in spiritually. And find out who you are, how you're growing, and where you're growing. You know, who you're becoming, and who you're growing to be. Because this, this experience is about change. This experience that you've been going through is trying to teach you to love yourself and to rebuild yourself anew. Don't let people come into your atmosphere and take advantage of you. If they don't love you and only you, and if they have enough room in their heart to entertain other people, let them go the fuck out there and entertain them. You ain't got to be in my space. At all. <laughs> And I just drop that shit. You need to drop that shit. You need to drop it. Without delay. Stop repeating this cycle. And I still picked it up and it's still in the reverse. This person is in like, I want I damn near want to say like a full. Like this person is in like another full blooded relationship somewhere else. Somewhere else. And it's like, ever you gonna retreat? Ever you gonna retreat and Trust your inner guidance and study your whatever moves you spiritually. Because there's secrets going on. This is the high priestess. There's secrets. The high priestess holds on to secrets. And the, the high priestess is the knower of all secrets. So there is certain things that you already know, Sagittarius, that's going on in the background. And even if there are certain things that you... This is trying to tell you. Listen... Stop trying to avoid this ending. There's already no love there. There's already no love there. And you're possibly going to be heartbroken because there's some secrets right here dealing with this high priestess. Do you see what I'm saying? This is probably someone who's older who has a little bit more wisdom than you that this person is out there celebrating with. And this person... And this person holds a lot of secrets in regards to the person that you're dealing with. Or this person is the secret. <sighs> okay. 
okay? This is the Seven of Wands. This is conflict. This is battle. You know? I want you to realize that if you don't release this energy and stop entertaining this and repeating this cycle, this is going to be another situation where you're going to have to kneel down and ask the Lord for prayer and for guidance because you're going to have to pick that wand up and get your ass back out there in the street and, 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 and you're going to be in some shit again. You want to have somebody knocking at your door again. You want to have someone calling your phone again. You want to be going through some shit again. You see what I'm saying? Because I feel like before in this situation. Because like they said, this has been cycle after cycle after cycle. Two, three times over. You done had somebody call you before. You done had somebody pop up at your house before. You done had somebody send you a Facebook or Instagram or a Twitter message before. Try to check you about your girl or your man. Somebody done sent you some pictures that they done been in your house before. Somebody, it's been, it's been, a, it's been some wild shit going on. And it's just getting uglier and uglier. And anytime you having to kneel before you pick up your wand, cause you about to have to crack somebody's ass, it's a fucking problem. And you're tired of going through this. Sagittarius is tired of going through this. So after you get the picture. And really get to the point where you're really seriously and truly tired of this. And stop allowing this energy in your life. Or you're just going to keep repeating this cycle again. Because this person is most definitely cheating on you. So it's like, why do you want a new beginning? And want to keep restarting a new beginning with someone that is... You're never going to be able to get this person's full love. How this person going to give you the love and they out there parlaying having it up with somebody else? This person don't really got no true love to give you. Okay? So stop trying to avoid this ending with this person. What is it that this person has that is so good that you want to be with somebody that's sitting up there cheating on you? It's something about that. Look, to me, in my personal opinion, what do you mean? I'm not good enough where you feel like you got to have me and someone else. I'm not fulfilling enough. You don't feel like that hurts me. You don't feel like that stabs me in my heart that you keep dealing with this other person? This 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 high priestess? You think I don't know about her? I know about her. I know about this old bitch. So what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm not about to keep going through this shit with you. It's just going to lead to heartbreak. It's just going to lead to heartbreak. I can't... You don't have no love to give me. I keep trying to avoid this with you. But it just keep leading the heartbreak. Every time you keep stabbing me in my heart over and over and over again. And you be trying to hide this other person like I don't know this. Like I know. I know. I'm tired of, I'm tired of praying about this. I'm tired of staying up praying about this. I don't want to fight and argue. I'm not, I'm not going to continue to. Why am I going to battle why am I going to battle to be with somebody that really don't want to be with me and, and think that they need somebody else to be there for them to be fulfilled? Nah, I'm good. You got to get to the point, Sagittarius, where you tired of, of keep reliving that cycle with this person. Because this person ain't really offering you no true love anyway. Is the love even there? It doesn't look like the love is there at all. It looks like that relationship is over, so it's like... You need to focus on your new beginning, Sagittarius. And you really need to grab this wand. Because it's like that new beginning is right there, but you're not grabbing it. It's like you really not grabbing hold on to it because you're still entertaining this bullshit. Something that is really breaking your heart. And you can act, you can hold hold fast to your emotions and act like, okay, this really ain't hurt me, ain't that deep, and I ain't really tripping off her. Yes, you are. Yes, the fuck you are. And you about to let this person stab you in your heart yet again. Come on, Sagittarius. Stop acting like you don't care. You do care. I hate when people, when somebody be like, oh. Well, you know so-and-so was doing that. Oh, it's okay. I don't care. Yes, you, stop. Yes, you do care. Like, why, why, why are you with somebody that's dogging you out and you don't give a fuck about, like, come on. Like, what type of shit is that? That don't even make no sense. Forgive and learn and retreat. 
Forgive and learn to get the fuck out of there. This motherfucker is codependent on you. This person is negatively codependent on you and you need to release this shit. And the only reason why you still holding on to this shit is because y'all got kids. But this person ain't even really taking care of your kids all like that. And you deserve love. The hell? This person ain't even really doing what they supposed to be doing for the kids all like that. Like they really should be. Come on now. I can see if the... No, I couldn't see nothing. You cheating on me, you got to get the fuck. And especially if y'all live with each other, this person got to get the fuck out your house. Stop flirting and dealing with this person. Like, I, I hope y'all not having sex with this person still. I, I really hope not. Because that's what I'm taking that as. You, you deserve love. Stop giving this person your temple. Why? You need to forgive and learn. You need to forgive this person. You need to forgive and learn. That is the whole purpose of this card. That you need to learn what you were set out to learn in this cycle in your life. This cycle is to teach you a lesson to get you to the new phase. Do you see what I'm saying? But instead of you worrying and grabbing this new this new phase and this in this um new beginning, you too busy worrying about this. You too busy trying to avoid and end it with this person that's cheating on you and that's dogging you the fuck out and ain't like this. No, no. You need to forgive and learn what you're supposed to learn from this situation and retreat. Get the fuck out of here. Get this, get this energy out of here. Get this energy out of here. This person is negatively codependent on you. You know that this person is codependent on you. And that's the only reason why this person is really still lingering around. And you're in denial about it. And I don't know why you're allowing this person to leech off of you. It's crazy. Is this person really taking care? This person is trying to use the fact that y'all have children. If you guys have children at all. Okay. This person is trying to use the fact that y'all have children as a reason to be codependent. And you're trying to be completely blind to that. And you're actually using that. You're using that ex as an excuse for them. <laughs> it's like... You're feeding yourself this bullshit to make yourself feel better about why you're allowing this person to still be in your atmosphere and take advantage of you. When you know this person is cheating. You know this person got another person. You know this person has secrets. And you know this person is going to break your heart again. And you know you're trying to avoid this ending with this person. And you're only hurting yourself. So stop telling yourself this bullshit. Oh, this person just around because we got... Stop. You is in denial. Is this person really taking care of the kids and really helping you with the kids and doing what the fuck they supposed to be doing? So stop saying that bullshit. Stop saying that shit to yourself and stop allowing that person to say that shit to you to pump your head up with that bullshit. It's lies. It's propaganda and it's bullshit. You have something that this person monetarily gains from or that they can take advantage of. It's not about the kids. That's why this is in reverse. It's not about the kids. This person is codependent on you. And you're in denial about it. Okay? And for the people that do not have kids, you want kids. You'll never be able to have kids and get to the point where you'll be happy in a relationship and be able to have a healthy relationship where you can have kids if you keep allowing this person to leech on you and this codependent in like if you continue to allow this in your life, it's blocking that. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's blocking that new beginning. You got to retreat. You got to retreat. Stop being in denial about this person being codependent on you. And addictions are affecting your romantic life. You are holding on to something that should have been let go a long time. You deserve love. Stop giving this person your body. That is why this person... You cannot break that soul tie because you keep allowing this person in your energy and you keep sharing your body with this person for this person to only skip off and do what the fuck they want to do. You giving yourself to somebody else, man or woman. I, I don't want you touching me because I don't know what type of person that you fucking and I don't want you bringing that energy off to me because if you wonder why you've been going crazy and your emotions all over the place because whoever the fuck they fucking they transferring that energy over to you too whoever the fuck they fucking is probably batshit crazy worried about you 
And y'all just back and forth, back and forth, exchange your fucking crazy. No, 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 no. You deserve love. You deserve something better than that. I don't like seeing all this third party shit and no, this person not giving you love, but you trying to avoid the shit. Why? This card is saying you avoiding change and letting go of something in your life. And this tower card in the reverse is saying that. <clears throat> Please give me additional guidance and love for Sagittarius for March. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Still got it. Material world. Mm-hmm. I tell you. Vibrations. Admire in the fall. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Fresh start, yeah. Solid, yeah. Mm-hmm. Girl, friend. So listen, I feel like this person is only latching on to you because of your material world and your positive vibrations. I feel like Sagittarius is something about your vibrations, your vibrations in the fact of what you attract in your material world and your material stability that's what this person sorry that is why this this person is vibrating with you that's why this person is admired uh admires you and is attracted to you is because your material world and the vibrations that you bring. I really do feel like um, some of you Sagittarius. Y'all just have y'all shit together. And y'all house and y'all environment is in a place is in. And y'all just have y'all shit together. And this person admires you a lot about that. But I definitely do feel like um, you're, if you continue to hold on to this. Somebody that will be admiring your vibrations. That you might be meeting in your material world in March. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. What am I saying? Because I just said that. So I just need to continue to say that. Because I didn't mean to say that. But it came out. So that's what I mean to say. So someone might be admiring you. And you just your vibrations. Because I don't know. Maybe you dance. Maybe you dance or something like that. There's the dancer on the card. Somebody in your material world is really admiring your vibrations they're really admiring your vibration maybe somebody at work maybe you like to go out and dance and have a good time or something like that but i feel like things are going to change for you in love in the fall but it's going to be blocked if you don't if you don't get your mind together around this person that you consider your twin flame i feel like this fall you're blocking your twin flame out you see what I'm saying? I want or last fall. I feel like I feel okay. So no, let me take this back. I feel like last fall, last fall, you had an opportunity to release this shit so that you can bring in your twin flame. Okay, me personally, I don't get into the whole twin flame thing. I think that shit is negative. I don't think it's positive to chase somebody around that is treating me like bullshit, calling it your twin flame. Okay, but I possibly think that you had a chance to get rid of this twin flame shit last fall, this person that is cheating on you, all of this bullshit. And I feel like you didn't do it. I feel like you didn't do it. Okay? This person. And I, I honestly. Because, okay. 
I'm battling with myself because I understand that a lot of you guys, how y'all feel about this twin flame shit. But I battle with myself deep inside about that twin flame term because I do not, I'm not receptive to chasing somebody that treats me like shit. Like, oh, we'll get together eventually. Like, and keep stressing and worry about what this fucking twin flame bullshit is doing. If you treat me like shit and you don't, you're cheating on me and you're doing all this shit right here. And you're not even really with me because you love me. You're with me for some material based shit. And because you need my vibrations and stuff. And you admire how I'm able to take care of myself. And how I'm able to keep shit together or whatever. If you're not with me because you love me. And you love me and only me. I don't fucking want you. I don't want you in this lifetime. I don't want you in another lifetime. I don't want you period. Get the fuck out of here so I can open up the door for someone that's truly going to love me. Do you see what I'm saying? You're... You're in tune. You're destined for a fresh start. But you don't want to be alone. That's your problem, Sagittarius. Like, you just really don't want to be alone. And that's why you're holding on to this person. That's why last fall, you had a chance to block out this twin flame bullshit. And this idea of this, I got to hold on to this relationship because this is my kid's father. And this is my twin flame soulmate. And we're supposed to be together. You know, he just ain't got his shit together. And I'm just waiting on him. Don't wait on that shit. Do not wait on this shit. Because you're going to miss, you miss love last fall when you could have got rid of it. And you're going to miss love this fall. Keep fucking around with this shit. Keep fucking around with this negative twin flame shit. Do you see what I'm saying, you guys? Do you feel me? Okay? Give your chance. Give yourself a chance for a fresh start. Okay? And stop being afraid to be alone. You're afraid of that solitude. That's what this is about. But this person is only with you because of your vibrations in your material world. And they admire you because you are the shit. But you should have got rid of them last fall. You should have got rid of this negative bullshit last fall. Because if this person don't love you now, nigga, don't love me in the future. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just, I, that, that's, that's me. You know what I'm saying? So, if that's not how y'all feel, y'all don't listen to me. But that's, I'm telling you to love your fucking self. Love yourself. You deserve love. Stop giving this person your body. This person ain't giving you no love. Stop avoiding this shit. What is this person giving you heartbreak over and over and over again? I to stab you in the fucking heart again. Would you like to get ready to kneel down and pray again? Come on, y'all. No, we ain't doing this shit. Spirit, please give Sagittarius guidance and um career, strength, lack of strength. This person... His person and his energy is weakening your strength. And just right now, I feel like you need to, like, focus on school. Focus on rebuilding yourself. You know, the situation is blocking you being able to focus on your heart's desire. You need to re-educate yourself. Re-educate yourself and refocus. And refocus. Flowers. It's death. Sensitivity. Time to decide. Just fell out. Time to decide on what else is this. Justice. Listen. Alright. So listen. You're not really displaying strength right now. And that is spilling over into your material world, okay? It's spilling over into your material world. I feel like school. I feel like you have a lot to learn. You have a lot to learn still. And because you're lacking the strength and you're not really getting the message. Like, the universe is taking you to school right now. They're trying to teach you something. But you ain't getting it because they want you to focus on your heart desire. Focus on you. You know, stop trying to avoid this ending and focus on your heart's desire, but you're not doing that. You focusing on a dead situation. Okay? The upright, these are flowers. That's life. That's, you know, that's life. In the reverse, that's death. You focusing on a situation that's dead. And it's making you too sensitive 
I feel like you could be snappy, moody, just emotional and stuff like that because it's making you super sensitive to shit right now. And that's not typically how Sagittarius is. Normally, Sagittarius is grounded and strong and shit like that. But the only reason why you're so sensitive right now and you're going through this shit is because you keep letting this motherfucker get in the way with unjustified behavior. You keep letting this person slip away and not get the justice that they deserve by keep allowing this shit. Why? It's time for you to decide. It's time for you to decide. This is your focus in your life purpose right now. You need to understand that, the, that, that you need to get strength and understand that the universe of God is taking your ass to school right now. And trying to teach you something. And you need to focus on your heart's desire. Because you are admired. Because I do feel like you're a talent dancer. You're a talent artist. You're a talent um, you're in the material world. Maybe you're an accountant. Maybe you're... Um, Maybe you're a, um, a lobbyist. You you're you're a politician. You're doing something in um like maybe the political science fields or something like that. I can see that you maybe you're a teacher. You do um you you do lectures or something like that. Giving and receiving. This person ain't giving and receiving to you. You need to properly give to yourself. Whoa. Steady progress. You need to. Give positive energy to yourself and surround yourself by positive energy. Stop allowing, like I told you, stop allowing this person to touch you. Stop allowing, like this energy is, is, is fucking with your steady progress, bruh. It is. What is all of this? You stop playing. Focus on your creativity. Open up your heart to love and accept and stop blocking at this perfect timing. You are blocking universal timing. And your negativity attracting. Give positively to yourself. Stop giving yourself to this situation. Because you wonder why your life. And if you're not happy. And if you're in a place of stagnation right now. Sagittarius. is because you keep giving your energy to something. That you shouldn't be giving your energy to. If you want positivity. If you want love and life. Give yourself positively. Don't even entertain it in the... Don't. Do you understand? Giving and receiving to the universe. You got to show the universe. You got to only allow positive energies in your life. Don't let yourself be so short and so the dream. Stop selling yourself a dream. Stop making excuses for this person. Oh, this person, and I'm only allowing this person around for the kids. No, like, are you still having sex with the person? That ain't got nothing to do with the fucking kids. This person ain't got to stay in your house. This person ain't got to drive your car. This person, don't give this person nothing. Move on and release yourself from this. If this person was somebody else, let that bitch give it to him. Or let that nigga give it to her. You feel me? Focus your energy on positivity only. Only. And have steady progress and move forward. Do you hear me? Stop fucking playing. Stop playing. Stop playing, Sagittarius. Foc focus on your creativity. Your art, your dancing, your music. Whatever it is. Focus on your creativity. Focus on opening up your heart and give your heart to people that love you. Stop chasing behind people that you love and focus on the people that who love you. I forgot who said that. I, I heard that somewhere recently. Shout out to whoever the hell said that. I can't even remember who, who said that. We fuck up when we chasing behind the people that we love and not focus on, on the people that are showing us the love. Shout out to whoever said that and accept that verse. Except with that, whoever, who said that? I have to figure out who said that. If anybody knows who said that, put that in my comments, yeah. Because yeah, I want to say Lonnie B, because I give credit to Lonnie B for everything. But anyway, listen. You need to focus on your art. You need to focus on healing your heart and opening your heart back up again. And accepting that you need to change and stop blocking this. This is, listen, you are getting in the way of somebody else's karma. Stop attracting this into your life. What they keep telling you, you will keep going and going and going and going through these cycles over and over and over and over and over again, Sagittarius. Over and over again. You have to change. Let's do your last spread and then we apply here, Sagittarius. We 
please up out of here Sagittarius we just got to do this one last clean for this energy and then everything that you want can be yours look the two the love is in reverse this relationship is over it's not adorned and blessed by the heavens it's not going anywhere stop thinking that this person is your soulmate you a star i need you to you know Get your foot and, and, and soak your body in that spiritual pond. I need you to gather a cup of that spiritual water. I need you to pour that on on this earth into your physical world. I need you to pour some of your spiritual beliefs into your physical world. And I need you to believe and know who you are and love yourself first and, for, first and foremost. Continue to have faith and know that things are going to get better because they are. You got to release and stop trying to hold on to this love. This is not true love. That is not love. And Spirit wants you to love yourself. Focus only on loving yourself. Stop trying to give love and take care of somebody. Oh, let's see what fell over here. All right. Stop trying to take care of somebody else. All right. It's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of communication coming to you there's going to be a lot of offers coming to you there's going to be a lot of people interested in you you have to release this energy so that this communication so this door communication to come in all right once you once you realize that this is not true love and you start loving yourself and you have faith and hope and you know that you are the star, honey, that communication going to start coming in like floodgates. You're going to have people trying to holler at you left and right. People really trying to come and offer you something solid. This is the Knight of Pentacles. This person is really trying to offer you something real, all right? This is the High Priestess in reverse. She is trying to tell you, listen, that you really do have the wisdom. You really do have the power, and they have accepted your uh, application. This high priestess says, you know what? I feel like Sagittarius is ready for the supreme knowledge. I'm giving him, I'm giving her the keys to their own inner wisdom. And it's up to you to use it wisely. You are the master of your own fate. You are the captain of your own destiny. I am giving you the keys. I trust that you'll make the right decision. And I know that... A king of cups, someone that is mature, someone that is emotionally grounded, someone that knows how to give you true love will come into your life. You have to decide to stop these cycles. You hear me, Sagittarius? Sagittarius, I love you. And right off the top, do you see? Don't allow these cycles over and over and over again to put the dawn on your new beginning. Don't allow that sunset. To set on that new beginnings. Because you see that? We got the Ace of Wands right here. And right off of that top of that deck. Right before I was about to click off. I seen this. Don't allow the sun to set on this new beginnings. When it's being offered to you. Close this chapter. Close this cycle. This man does not love you. This person is entertaining someone else. So you need to entertain a new beginning. And love life. Prosperity. In abundance. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the mid months. If this video resonated, y'all go ahead and click that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well while you add it in that notification bell. All right. If you would like a personal and private reading to get some personal in depth insight in regards to your energy so that you can get a true soulmate, because this is that bullshit. And y'all, listen, I'm serious, man. That twin flame bullshit. Come on now. Come on now. Don't chase around and don't wait and hold your life up for somebody that don't love you. If they ain't willing to show you the love now, they ain't willing to show you that shit in the future. Don't be believing that bullshit. That's what motherfuckers be trying to tell you to sell books and shit and to sell. No, fuck that shit. Love yourself first and foremost and always. If a person don't love you, then fuck them. You hear me? I love y'all Sagittarius and y'all just like Scorpios. Y'all fixed energies. Listen, when we love, we love hard. You see what I'm saying? And it's hard for us to... Um, it's hard for us to break away you see so love yourself first and foremost always I love you Saggy I see you later peace